Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a very very exciting experiment. Let's see how much time this bottle takes to empty. And I think it takes two minutes because so much water has had in it. For this science experiment, we need a container. We need a water bottle and fill water till this much. Let's begin. So the first way we're going to do is... We're going to put our hand, one hand on a water bottle, lift it up, go like that and then just let it go. It took almost 12 seconds. For the, we, we have to improve the time a little bit. So let's try the second way how to empty our water bottle. Let's take my father's help. This time it only took 6 seconds. Oh my god, I never saw any water bottle until so far like 6 seconds or something. In the third way, we have to use a stir stir stir. For this also, I have to take my father's help. I can't believe it. Oh, little five. Now it was four. What if in one second the water bottle would finish? That would be so good. But it's not. So now let's understand the science behind it. As we saw three approaches. The approach one was where we just turned the bottle upside down. In approach two, we tried swirling the water inside the bottle when we were turning it over. And in the third approach, we used a straw. So the first approach where we just turned the bottle upside down, it took the maximum amount of time. So what happens is when the water leaves the bottle, the air has to take its place. So in the narrow neck of the bottle, the air has to pass around the water. If you just turn the bottle upside down, this happens in a series of clugs. As some water falls out, then a bubble of air passes up the neck of the bottle. Then another lump of water falls out. This means that the water has to speed up, then slow down every clug, which is a very slow process. That's why it takes the maximum amount of time. In the second approach, where we spin the bottle first to create a swirl, in that case, the water is thrown out to the sides of the bottle which leaves a gap up in the middle through which the air can travel. So although the path of the water is much longer, it will still empty faster because now the air has its own path to go inside the bottle and won't cause any resistance for the water that is coming out. So an even faster way of emptying the bottle would be to give air its own dedicated path. One way of doing that is by doing a hole in the bottle. In our third approach, that is what we achieved by using a straw. So instead of creating a hole, we are putting a straw in the bottle so that air has its own dedicated path to come out and won't cause any resistance for the water. That's why the third approach took the minimum amount of time. Hope this explains the science behind the experiment that we did. Do try this at home and have fun learning. Thank you. Oi, oi, oi,